Tonight, I'd like to give gratitude to Mrs. Eddie for what she has taught about the word love with a capital. She said, there is no discordant claim that you cannot love yourself out of. There was a time in my life when I would hesitate to use or write the word love. I didn't particularly feel it for myself and certainly did not feel it towards others. I felt hurt in so many ways and therefore felt justified not loving because at least I wasn't hurting anyone, not openly. When I learned that if I wasn't feeling love, then other emotions like fear, worry, uncertainty, resentment, anger, depression must be holding sway, and that indifference was really hate. I started examining my thoughts more and to pay more attention to my feeling and start living this great word, love. Like all the truths we've learned about, I had to start practicing love consistently and know that I can love because I express God. I had to think of myself correctly and to think of others correctly, as, we've heard, as we have heard in the other testimony. The examples of Christ Jesus, Mrs. Sedi, and others, and so many people that I've read about how they could continue to love no matter what, has been a great source of inspiration. The practice of thinking love, whenever a wrong thought came, whenever I felt bad, and most of the time, wherever I am, really striving to uplift my thought and think about God's love for me and others, has really helped me to live the spirit of the word and the higher meaning of it. I thank God for our watches, the teaching to pray unceasingly, because these cannot be done without love. One of Mrs. Eddy's students quoted her saying that in her, in her response to the question, how can healing be done through prayer, she said, just live love, be it. Love, love, love. Do not know anything but love. Be all love. There is nothing else. That will do the work. It will heal everything. Be nothing but love. This was from We Knew Mary Baker Eddy. I think it's the second book, page 134. Yes, love does heal our own ills and lift others up. It does heal every claim. Thank God for all Mrs. Eddy's sacrifice to give this truth to all mankind. Thank God for all at Plainfield who have stood to share what they learned and for all the beautiful testimonies and tonight's meeting. Thank everyone.